Hi everyone, this is Susie with Creative Cafe, and I've got several things I want to share. Um, first of all, everybody knows I love seam binding. If you watch my videos, I think I put seam binding in everything. And so, um, it's just one of my favorite things to use. But I've been experimenting because I buy so much of it, I just kind of wanted to start making my own. So, um, this last week, I have been just messing with seam binding. So I bought me a roll of 100 yards, this Hug Snug seam binding, and um, I thought I'd give it a try. So the first thing I tried was this walnut ink. Um, this is Java, uh, this is terracotta, and then I have one in eucalyptus too, which I didn't do. I kind of mixed the eucalyptus and the Java together. And um, I like the color, but I found when I tied it, it kind of takes the crinkle out of it. So I'm not sure that that's what I'll be using um, anymore. This is the Java here, the walnut, and this is the terracotta. But anyway, I love the crinkle. I just don't like it. I don't like the feel of it. It's not real soft, and I don't like the... Um, uh, well, like I said, when I go to tie a bow, it doesn't stay crinkled and nice for me. So, um, then I experimented with the paints. Okay, I watched several um, videos on that. So, I went and bought me a little, a couple little sprayers. And I tried one with just water and the paint and the Maj Posh. And um, didn't like it at all. The... I don't know. The seam binding is really just stiff and doesn't feel good at all. So scratching that idea. Haven't tried one with the alcohol yet. I'll probably try try that. Uh, but I did try just the only color in the uh, Glimmer Mist that I had from Tattered Angels is this Cream de Coco. It's a real light color. So I just sprayed it lightly. Now this I like the feel of. Um, it's really, really crinkled. And this is more, I think, what I like. So uh, I went today and found me some more Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist to try some different colors. So, But I'll use this seam binding, but it's just it just doesn't feel like the other seam binding that I've purchased. So anyway, know that I'm doing something wrong. So anyway, like the seam binding. I'm going to start making my own. I just use so much of it. Then I had a swap last year, and um, anyway, my swap partner was a little late getting the book to me, but absolutely loved it. Wanted to share it with you. Um, she's added some seam binding, um, kind of mixed, like a mixed media cover here. Really love this. Um, and it's all printed images and parchment paper and I love it and I'm going to make me one. I've already started trying to find some downloads uh, to uh, start download on parchment paper. Uh, I think she just stamped that and then stamped some tags. I'm not going to show you the whole book but um, I'll just show you some of the images that she has downloaded. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Um, like here. Love this. She did such a great job and she was so afraid to send me the book or let me see it because she just thought it was awful, but I absolutely loved it. I love these images. And uh, just some more tags here. Kind of got a bag there. It was just a junk journal swap is what it was. And um, she's just went and uh, raggeded, uh, distressed all these edges on this parchment paper. Here's another download. Uh, and anyway, absolutely loved it. Here's some paper here that's just gorgeous. There's a couple more images there. There. But anyway, I absolutely love this uh, book. Here's an image here. And it's all on parchment paper. So anyway, this is my um, swap book. She is from New York, so uh, she sent me several postcards of New York, New York City, Manhattan, some of them places there. So uh, anyway, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, I'm going to give my uh, 
hand at doing some downloads on parchment paper. I just liked it so much that I'm going to be trying that. So anyway, this is my this was my swap book. She did a great job on the on all the twine on the cover. Absolutely loved it. Gorgeous. I've got it sitting downstairs uh, in my living room. And then um, also for my uh, newbies, if you're new to scrapbooking, I just wanted to share this. I mean, the really simple, uh, just a budget planner for 2013, and I can always remove this and um, the two or you know the 2013. Uh, I just stick it on my ATG gun. It'll easily peel off. And um, anyway, I can use it next year. But I love seam binding. So I did uh, tie me a little bit of this vintage color seam binding there. And then I just used some scrap paper that I had uh, sitting around. So um, I divided it in um, four different, um, uh, what am I trying to say, uh, quarters. Uh, so anyway, each one has three months, and so I have a craft envelope for each of the uh, three months. Uh, this will be January, February, March, and I could put that on there. Um, I didn't right now, but I could. And then I added a couple of post-it notes here. Just printed these off of the computer, added some, some just tablet paper there to in between each month. To uh, do some scratching, you know, figuring, whatever I wanted there. So uh, anyway, and just did that throughout the the remainder. Use some of my stamps that I had. Here's, and I'll probably put the months on here. Just printed off my computer. And anyway, just real simple. Just something you can do quick and easy. Uh, doesn't require a lot of, you know, trying to think about what you're doing. You know, sometimes we get frustrated when we're new at scrapbooking. We just need to make something easy and and uh, go from there and work our way up to the harder things. But anyway, this is my little um, planner. I'm almost going to be using this myself, so I didn't have to make it too fancy. But just something that I didn't have to run out and buy. I just wanted to make it myself. Uh, there's the back of it. Love this paper. I can't even. I don't even know who this is by. It's just some I had laying around. So. Uh, anyway, that's something, you know, that you can uh, just make real quick and easy for the new year. But anyway, um, hopefully tomorrow, which is Sunday, I'll be uploading my 20 favorites. I really won't have 20 because I've used a lot of the products I did last year. So I might have 10 new ones, though. And uh, anyway, I'm going to try to get that uploaded tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching.